Hey everyone, Joe Grand here showing off a quick project that I'm calling the Emic 2 to Elmo hack. The Emic 2 is a text to speech module that I just finished up and it basically takes in uh, serial data and converts it to synthesized speech. There's lots of really cool functionality in this tiny little device from a very fine detailed phonetic control to pitch control and changing the volume and the speed and the voice and um, just lots of really neat things that you can do with this device. There's plenty of information about it on my website at grandideastudio.com and also on the Parallax website if you search for product number 30016. My son had this Elmo, weird little Elmo like music iPod device thing uh, that stopped working as most cheap toys uh, eventually do. So I thought it'd be great to actually hack this device and uh, make it uh, essentially a test interface for my Emic device. The Elmo device originally had an LCD screen up here and uh, would let you cycle through a bunch of different songs, play the song, do a shuffle, or stop the song. As I have three built-in demonstrations to the Emic 2 module, um, what I'm doing is these three buttons will serve as selecting the demonstration to play, and then during playback, you can either hit the shuffle button to pause or the stop button to stop the playback. What I have is the PIC 12F675, which I chose uh, just because I had a few of them in my parts bin, and it's a really nice small 8-pin uh, microcontroller. So over here, I have the uh, keyboard interface, which is those three buttons on the Elmo device, has a, a four connector ribbon that goes over to the PIC. So I have the play, stop, and shuffle buttons. Over here, I have a uh, connection to the microchip in circuit serial programming header, which I'm using to program the firmware of the PIC. And then up here, I just have the standard um, serial interface, serial in and serial out to the Emic module, and uh, the bridge tide load outputs of the Emic device, the speaker plus and speaker minus, directly to the eight ohm speaker that just happens to be in the Elmo toy. With the schematic designed, uh, the next thing I had to do was design a little circuit board to fit right inside of where the original circuit board did, assembled that board, programmed the microcontroller, and shoved it back into the device. Let me give you a demonstration of how it works. So I have the Emic 2 module plugged into the uh, six pin header coming off of my custom circuit board. I replaced the volume knob with the power switch over here, and it's already turned on. So the green light is on, indicating that the Emic module is ready to receive commands. Now note that this is actually a pre-production prototype um, of the Emic module. So it has a few little modifications that I had to do and uh, it's standing vertically as opposed to the production version um, will lie flat. It also won't have this six pin header that I was using for programming um, the device. What I could do now is just hit one of the three buttons and play one of the three demonstration uh, text. Hello everyone, my name is Emic2. I am the next generation text-to-speech module created by Grand Idea Studio. I can whisper very quietly. I can change to one of nine voices. For example, from Paul to Mary to Dennis to Wendy. I can also increase my pitch and increase my pitch again. Then speed faster and even faster and even faster again. And then go back to normal. So if you've seen any of my other Emic 2 development videos, you've probably already heard that demonstration. Let's do the next one, where we're going to sing a little song. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to. I am half crazy, all for the love of you. It would be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage. But you look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. The final demonstration is the Spanish text. And if I want to pause it during playback, just hit the shuffle button, that's going to pause it, and I'll start it again. And then we'll just stop it right there. So there you have it. Finally something useful. Uh, comes out of an Elmo toy. That's it for now. Once again, my name is Joe Grand signing off and I look forward to seeing what other people uh, can come up with with the new Emic 2 text-to-speech module.